Welcome back to Hannity and Combs. I'm Alan Combs. The 9-11 conspiracy wingnuts are at it again. This time they're spinning the words of Senator John Kerry to suggest that the former presidential nominee in some way endorses those conspiracy theories. Take a look at how the senator responded recently to a question in Austin, Texas. That wall, I remember, was, was in danger, and I think that they made a decision based on the danger that it had of destroying other things, that they did it in a controlled fashion. Joining us now with reaction, the author of 9-11 Synthetic Terror, Webster Tarpley. Webster, you don't think for one second that John Kerry believes that there was a government conspiracy to bring down the buildings on 9-11. You don't believe that, do you? Well, he just says that there's a controlled demolition being done on World Trade Center 7, which is that building that came down at 5.20 in the afternoon after having been hit by no plane, and it's uh, several hundred yards away from the Twin Towers. It's actually on the north side of Vesey Street. I'm not sure it's referring Anybody to Building 7, see. sir. He was referring to the fact that after 9-11 and after some buildings were hit, there were buildings in the area that were so destroyed and so damaged that they did have to be brought down. That's what John yes, Kerry was referring to. And to claim that John Kerry somehow supports your cockamamie theories is absolutely insane. I, I consider John Kerry, I want nothing to do with John Kerry. John, John Kerry is a dilettante. I'm glad to hear He's that. He's an oligarch. He's a rich elitist. <laughs> and his wife with her foundations. Oh, now you're getting your way off topic. Kind of, That's not what we're talking kind of about. Shallow, give me a Stop chance, Stop the cheap uh, shots. Alan. You're, you're making chance. cheap shots now. Let me take a few seconds to tell you. He's essentially the same kind of shallowness of thinking that lost him the presidency. He should have been out there attacking the 9-11 myth. Sir, you are, you are blaming the United States government. I'm no fan of the Bush administration, but people like you who want to blame the Bush administration, the United States government, without one scintilla of evidence that they had anything to do with bringing down buildings on 9-11, as if elected officials of this country would cause this kind of damage and hurt to the American people, you are further hurting the families who have suffered enough because of 9-11 to have to sit and listen to this interview. garbage you're putting out. Do you ever do you ever give me a chance? Look, there's a ton of evidence. It just happens that World Name Trade Center 7. Name one scintilla of evidence. Give me some evidence. He was asked about World Trade Center 7. It's the only building in the history of the world that's a modern steel frame skyscraper that comes down after not being hit by a plane with no fire, and it comes down at free fall speed into its own base, its own footprint, on its own foundation, all in a neat pile. It, it turns out that a further investigation afternoon. of that building turns out 25% of the depth of the building was gone. Popular Mechanics did the story on this. A fifth floor fire was burning up for seven hours. Debris from the North Tower forces. was all over the place. That, and the construction of the building, because of the weight of the columns, that's what caused it to come down, not some kind of crazy government theory to further hurt the American people. It's a, it's a classic controlled demolition. You see streamers of smoke. You see, you, see, uh, you see the thing collapse in the middle first. It's classic controlled demolition, just in the same way that the Twin right, Towers why, What would be the motivation, this, Mr. Tarpley? Why would the government do it? What would be behind their thinking? Give me you're, a you're reason. Give me a motivation here. What amounts here. to a rogue network? It's the people who brought you the Kennedy assassination, the Gulf of Tonkin, the bombing of Serbia. Their goal is the war of civilizations, and that's what you see. Hey, hey Webster. Using this as a, as a premise, they have attacked Afghanistan, attacked Iran. All right, Webster, they're preparing Webster. To, uh, let's, they're let's, preparing to attack Iran. Words, They've attacked Iran. Let's go to the videotape. So you're saying that after the planes hit the Trade Center, that the government, in a controlled fashion, went in and then bombed the... the then no, loaded that's, what, that's exactly what I'm not arguing. What are in you other words, arguing? a controlled demolition, and this, this is the shallowness of Kerry, if you want to have a controlled demolition, it takes at least several days of very careful and do you think that painstaking work. And do you believe yes, that that's happened, obviously sir? what happened. Dan right, let's Rather show, was let, able hang on to a second. see that. Let's show the video so we can show the remind video. everybody exactly what we're talking That's because Building 7. they don't seven. talk about this. So you're saying because it looks like a controlled demolition, do you have, do you have any evidence who loaded up that building with some... Uh, with some um, Explosive. Explosives. Yeah, this is exactly what the what the uh, Kane Hamilton Commission did I not do. Sir, they should I asked have investigated you, who, the rogue who loaded up, that did this. Who loaded up the building with explosives? Someone who has very capable controlled demolition expertise. Right. Not Bin Laden. Not Al Qaeda. Okay. Not some group of psychotic patsies in a cave of All right, Webster. Next question. But somebody who actually can do these things. I know. I, the Webster. Ne technical next ability to I create the observed phenomena. You throw out all these allegations, but you have no proof and you, you conspiracy theories. I've but here's my question. Look, I commend we my saw, book to people's attention, we 500 saw, pages. We saw the pictures of the planes hitting the building. 
Bin Laden himself was but taking. But not this building. Excuse the question me. I that understand he was asked that. In Austin was I about World relax. Trade Center Rel Seven. If you if you were no take, plane. If, hey, Webster, if you take a deep yes. breath, I'm going to help educate you here. If you watch the buildings get hit by the planes, and, and Bin Laden takes credit for it. Now there was an investigation. Which Bin Laden? And there's I, a fat Bin Laden. That would be there's Osama Bin Laden. Bin Laden. There's, and there's a Bin Laden who says he did it. There's a Bin Laden who said he didn't do it. Let, what you have to remember is <laughs> Al Qaeda is the CIA Arab Legion. All right, all right. It now, was created by by. Robert Webster, Gates, the current I'm going to get this information out. Let me point out to you. NIST researchers show that the support of this working hypothesis that you're talking about here, that the building was far more compromised by but the... They don't, they don't talk about... Let World me Trade finish, Center Webster. Seven. They Hold try on. to dodge it. The building was far more compromised by the falling debris than the FEMA of report, which I know you guys refer to often, ever indicated, and that it's obvious that this was a result of 9-11. Who do you think the did this? The problem for that argument, Sean, Sean, is simply this, that between the trade, the trade towers, the twin towers, you've got building six, and then you've got Vesey Street, and then you've got building seven. Now, building six is not completely destroyed. There's a crater in the roof. You know, look. But building seven is several hundred yards One away, last point. and it is not damaged. You can look at the films. You can I, look at all I, sorts I of films the film. on the internet. One last point. I, I want to just reiterate what Alan said, sir. Without your evidence, without your proof, your cockamamie theories, there are people that lost loved ones. And with you saying that without any evidence is very hurtful and very harmful. Sean, that's a demagogic and argument. Very, and the reason frankly, why this you're is living in a paranoid conspiratorial world. The reason world. why this is important. Uh, we got to run. Uh, Cheney just one quick thing. Did you, did you say there's more than Iran, one? You said there's more than. And he's going to try to have a new 9/11. That's you, the whole did point. Did you say there's more than one to Bin Laden? To understand what the next one is going to be, you've got to know what the first one. You say there's more than one Bin Laden, sir. Yes, there's, it's obviously a troop of actors. Right. It's, a, it's a group, group of, of actors. Patsies All right, sir. That are assembled uh, by U.S. and British intelligence. Thank you for your time. And we check with Greta Van. Thank this, you, sir. Have their head again. All right, Greta Van Susteren's here. She is your John Kerry, by the way. Uh, uh, what's that? Is your friend John Kerry supporting? He had nothing that. to do with these people. That's what he said. That's not what he said.